show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Kansas City Royals and the Milwaukee Brewers. So striding in, Max Kepler. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. On that fastball's too one much for him there, one and two. Game time temperature tonight, 62 degrees, but should drop into the 50s before we're done. Oh, and a nice changeup that time gets him to swing right through it as the leadoff man is down on strikes to open up the ball game. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. And that one got a piece of him. Thank you, man. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. A silver slugger recipient for National League outfielders a year ago. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Ready to deal. Here's the 2-1. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Juan Soto. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. The 1-1. Oh, that ball's driven into left center. This could be trouble. And they're going to hit the board first tonight as this ball's down for extra bases. The second base So now to the plate, Mike Mustakis. Now a curveball misses inside. Individual matchup numbers against John Gray. He's gone two for eight. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Marte on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Here's Starling Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A bouncer up the middle. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Batting second, the left fielder, Christian. In now, Christian Yelich. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That is good. The shortstop, Alex. Stepping in now, Alex Bregman. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Long throw to the plate. Ah, but the throw is well up the line and he scores easily. Batting four. The right fielder. Shohei. To the plate now, Shohei Otani. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Liner in there for a base hit. And the runner will score from second as they take a two to one lead. Batting four. The third baseman. Edward. Into the box now. Edwin Encarnacion. All even now, two and two. Bregman at second. Otani on at first with nobody out. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Waiting next is Anthony Rizzo. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. The first base Next for Milwaukee, Anthony. Anthony Rizzo. And Milwaukee with an opportunity for more damage here in the first. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Looking at his career totals, Rizzo is up over 1,200 career hits during his time in the majors. 
Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Fouled off. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. Hit hard up the middle. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. That is done. The second baseman, Howie. At the plate now, Howie Kendrick. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. This is foul right side. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So striding forward now, Tom Murphy, who represents the eighth man to bat here in the first with four runs already on the board. The 1-1. One, one. Four runs here in this half inning. And a swing and a miss here. So it took him 31 pitches, but the side is finally retired. Second inning set to go, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. But this is gloved over there at first as he was in the right spot at the right time. One away. One ball. The one two is looked at for ball number two. One out, nobody on. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. Throw on to first will get him score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Pulled high in the air out to right field. But Tani waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Digging in, John Gray, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. Grounded back up the middle. And that is through into center. A base hit and the opposing pitcher gets aboard to kick off the inning. The center fielder. Number six. Starling. At the plate, Starling Marte. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Okay. Waiting next, there's Christian Yelich. Now the payoff pitch home. Swing and a liner, but foul. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. The left fielder, number In is Christian Yelich. He's a dangerous hitter indeed as the reigning batting champion in the National League. The 1-1 one, one pitch. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 and one now. Well, we're just in the second inning. Well, that command he normally has on the side just doesn't quite seem to be there. He's really fighting himself right now. 
Even count, two balls and two strikes. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. The batter, Striding two. into the box, Shortstop. Alex Bregman Alex. looking to follow up the RBI yeah. single from his first at-bat. And he fouls this one off. Once again, a 3-2. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Shohei Otani. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Unable to find the zone with the slider. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. The 2-2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Into the box now, Luis Castillo. 9-1-2 and two due up. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Now that's popped up. Rizzo has room in foul territory. One out. Stepping in, Max Kepler. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. There's ball four. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. Well, that and that'll bring up Ozzy Albies. Stop. Ozzy Albies. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Hit on the ground out to short. Kendrick on to Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the 1 and 1. A pitch out. The throw. And they'll nail him at second on a brilliant call to pitch out. And the inning is over. Bottom of the third now. And that'll bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. The one two fouled away. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. Bellinger is there, and he has it for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. One and one, here it comes. Good time to take something off, but it's two and one now. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Is looked at and the count moves full. Waiting on deck is Howie Kendrick. That's popped up. Albies has a play. He's got it and there are two down now. Here's Howie now Kendrick. Back. He's 0 for 1 after beat. grounding out in his Howie. only trip to the plate so far. Kendrick.
high in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder, and no one will track it down. Line, but speared on a hop. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the fourth, and that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. The 2-1 home. Bellinger connects as this is deep to right. And gone! An absolute bomb. Standing in now, Juan Soto. The one two. Fouled off. Two runs on two hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. The batter number one away for the Royals here in the fourth. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Moustakas. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Mike Moustakas is sent packing for the second out of the inning. Two balls and a strike to count. The 2-1 home. Fly ball out toward left center field. After it is Marte. But he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And this will bang up against the wall. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Now back. Catch Yasmani. So now to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. A ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Two runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. And that misses two and two. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Driven nicely into the gap. in at second safely as they also push across a score to make it a one run game stepping in now Jesse Winker 2 1 pitches a fastball swung on and missed 2 and 2 changes up on him if that's in the dirt for the ball for the guy in the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy he's thrown a bunch of pitches and this AB hasn't been any different definitely laboring at the moment out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. Now a swing and a ground ball for the second baseman, Kendrick. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the power-hitting catcher, Tom Murphy. The 1-1. Hit hard up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. The pitcher, number 55, John Gray. In now, John Gray. Got it back in time there, and it's 2-1. and one. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Shows nope, bun here, but this one misses. Ball three. Yeah, now you've got a guy up there trying to give you an out by bunning. So the last thing you want to do is waste pitches and maybe put yourself in a situation where you could walk him. Bun attempt is popped into foul ground. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. 
Digging in next will be Starling Marte. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And a three and two full count to Starling Marte. 3-2 pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Winker is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first out. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. At the plate, Christian Yelich. And they're runners at the corners now. Yelich! Now the one and one pitch is outside for a ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. With one out and runners on the corner, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. Count full, three balls and two strikes. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. The batter, number two. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. It was a walk in his last trip. Set, here's the 3-1. And that misses, ball four. A run will come in to score. Herman Marquez answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Shohei Otani will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball in two strikes. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. Two balls and two strikes now. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Oh, and it misses. Ball four. And that will force home a run. Bases are loaded here with one away. And that will bring up the third baseman, Edwin Encarnacion. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Three ball, two strike. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Still only one out in the inning. And another foul ball. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, would have been a grand slam if he'd straightened it out. Instead, it's a foul ball. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Soto has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. The throw here is not in time. He beats Grandal's tag. At the plate, Anthony Rizzo. Two men on, Anthony. two away here in the fourth. Rizzo. The 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Three runs already home here. Hit on the ground to short. Albies picks it up. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Willie Calhoun will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Hitting for the Royals. Number five, Willie Calhoun. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Ready for another chance? Max Kepler. It was a walk in his last trip. Kepler. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. That one doesn't even sniff the zone, missing very high. 
Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Max Kepler goes down for out number two in the top half. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Tyler Glasnow gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 20, Tyler Glasnow. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Howie Kendrick. The 1-1 sent in the air out to straightaway central. Bellinger's under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Tom Murphy. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. And the pitch. That misses, and we're even at two and two. And it's fouled away. Here's another 2 2. Lined hard and deep down the left field line. Ah, but he just missed his extra bases. The 2 2 one more time. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Murphy is retired, two down now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the pitcher's spot. That'll be John Gray. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Called a strike and it's full three and two. You got a full count. Three, two. And he misses here, ball four. And somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. Number six. Digging in now for the Brewers, Starling Marte. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. The left fielder, number two. Juan Soto to the plate now. A hit in two tries for him so far. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second the time tonight. Second base. In now, Mike Moustakis. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. Third base. Gio Urshela. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And up next, the sweet swing and left-handed hitting outfielder Christian Yelich. Here's the one and one pitch. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this Whoa, hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. 
Swing and a hard hit ball. Down the line in right. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Now batting. Shortstop. Alex. Into the box now, Alex Bregman. Brewer shortstop ahead with a three and one count. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. A runner at second, nobody out. And he fouls this one off. He'll try it again, three and two. Line drive to center field. But this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first out. Now bat it. Ready once again, right Shohei Otani. He's Shohei. working on a one for two game so far. Otani. A 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now Edwin Encarnacion now. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. And this is a ball to Encarnacion. Two and one now. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Two and two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Matt Manning is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 83. Seventh inning ready to roll, and now it'll be the catcher, Yosmani Grandal. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 3 2 one more time. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Ready for another shot now. Jesse Winker over two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. Three and two now. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. This is popped up. Bregman waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Gavin Lux will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hitting for the boy. Number 48. Ah, went after the high one there. A swing and a miss. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batter, the first base. To the plate now, Max Kepler. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, the pitch to two balls and two strikes now. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. After it is Marte. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Into the box, Ozzy Albies. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. Fouled away. Another 2-2 offering. Full count now, three and two. 
Tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Ozzy Albies is the second out in the seventh inning. Cody Bellinger will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. I'll straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be more And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Josh James gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The 1-1 home. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Bellinger's under it. One away. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Howie Kendrick. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. 1-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Three and one to Howie Kendrick. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Line drive to center field. Bellinger is there, two gone. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Ready to begin the eighth and digging into bat next the ever dangerous Juan Soto. The 1-1. One, one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Ready on one and two. Liner in there for a base hit. The batter number nine. Second three. Standing in now, Mike Mustakis fouled off. Again, a one-two. Into center field, line drive base hit. At the plate now, Gio Urshela, slow roller down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. As a look, now the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The one two is taken for ball two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Three-two pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. After it is Marte. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. On to third, but he's in safely as a run will score on the play as well. Now, that now in the that box, Yosmani Grandal. The potential Grandal. second run of the inning stands at third. The 1-1 home. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. 
Wilson Contreras will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Outside, two and one. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Corbin Burns will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Luis Urias will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number two, Luis Urias. And it's fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. This is on the ground over to first. On to the bag with it is Rizzo, and the inning is over. Nick Anderson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 70, Nick Anderson. Now batting, Luis Urias. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Here's the 1-1. One, one. one and two. One ball. Ooh, two that was ugly. Audi, if you're waving at me. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's the first out. Coming to the plate now, Starling Marte. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was in a great hitter's count. Should have been looking dead red, but instead chases after a pitch that he couldn't do anything with and would have walked him. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. One and one, here it is. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Ah, and he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The batter, number two, So now to the plate, Alex Bregman, high in the air out to center field. Bellinger's under it. And that ends the inning. Keone Kella comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. He got it. Set to start the ninth in this one. And here comes the first baseman, Max Kepler. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. And now pitch on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. After it is Yelich. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. So up steps Ozzy Alves. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now the 2 1. 
He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So next to the plate for the Royals, Cody Bellinger. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Swing and a line drive. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. KC down to their final strike in this one. Three and two, a full count to the Royal center fielder. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And that one's taken outside for a ball. We walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Now the two one pitch. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. And he fouls this one off. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Kansas City. Good night. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game and it took six here to get the job done but hey they'll do whatever they can to get a W. Seven to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Milwaukee Brewers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. John Gray gets the W on the mound. Luis Castillo allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Brewers, seven runs on nine hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For Kansas City, four runs on eight hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and thirty-two minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please. Drive home safely.